I believe that people have this major misconception about SHIB. And I don't know whether it's because people are, are in their first market cycle or they just have this expectation of massive, explosive, instant runs because of what happened in the bull market. People need to understand where we're at in this market cycle right now. And, you know, it's funny because I've seen people say that the, that the charts don't look good and I've been SHIB in, in five years and, and the charts, uh, you know, they just they go nothing but down. And that's not the case at all. All right, SHIB is actually in an uptrend right now. We've been on the rise and price is actually doing not bad like people think. So I want people to be aware of something. When we zoom out and look at these SHIB charts, they're really not any different than what other coins in the space, top coins in the space have experienced in the past. And that's where, again, I, I think this big misconception lies. So here's the ship charts. We obviously went through our, our big massive retracement in 2022, beginning of the bear market cycle, ended up dropping down, creating obviously a cycle low in the middle of the year, but <clears throat> had our nice little spike to begin 2023, came down, set a new cycle low back in June, following the SEC FUD and institutional sell-off and all those things. And then SHIB has actually been in an uptrend since the middle of last year. All right. So ship price guys has not been doing bad. It's actually been on the rise since then. We've actually created a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. And hopefully again, we have this fifth leg coming. Now, the funny thing is, is when we look at other top coins in the space, they've experienced this exact same chart, eerily similar. Take a look at something like Ethereum. This is Ethereum's market cycle from the last one. All right. So this is basically uh, bear market beginning in 2018, all the way through the bull market in 2021. And you can see Ethereum went on this big elongated drop throughout 2018. Then we had a little spike to begin 2019, dropped down, created a new cycle low in 2019 before it began a little bit of a run and then some correction, right? Now, why I think this is important, again, if you even just measure these moves here, you know, Ethereum did about 140% here. SHIB did about uh, 120% here. We had some nice pops just like Ethereum had. Guys, these, these charts are no different, all right? This isn't any different than what even the second largest coin in crypto has done recently, all right? Now, the point I'm trying to make with this is this is where people FUD themselves out of their bag. This is where people freak out and people can always do what they want. All right. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You guys can always make your own decisions, but this was the Ethereum chart. People may have looked at it and said, oh, this is crap. I'm going to just dump it. Right. Especially around here on that COVID crash. And again, I don't think we get anything like this unless we have a major black swan event, but people dump their bags before this move, before Ethereum went on its massive run to the new bull market high before obviously starting its new bear market cycle. That's the point I want to make. There are people right here that, and I can see it in the comments. They're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to dump my ship right here. It's not going to do well. The devs are messing thing up, which again, they're not the actual dev team guys. They're a community team. Okay. People are going to dump their bags and get out of ship before it has one of those kind of moves before it begins really to get into alt season post having the largest and most explosive times in the, the bull market cycle. That's the point I want to make. Sometimes you need to zoom out and look at history. Guys, this market cycle right now that we're experiencing is not any different than any market cycle in the past. And SHIB has done well to prepare itself for this market cycle. Increasing holders, increasing utility, worldwide optics. SHIB, up until that institutional sell-off, was one of the strongest coins in the bear market cycle, guys. All right? We look actually, let me go back to the charts here. When we look at this move back here, SHIB set a cycle low here in June at that at that time, right? That's what many coins did. SHIB actually set a higher low back here in late December of 2022. And this was actually at a time where coins were setting lower lows. SHIB actually unnaturally got pushed down to these levels and it's prevented or it's uh, presented us with additional opportunities to accumulate. And that's the point I want to make. So Again, people can do what they want, but me personally, I'm not missing this run. I wasn't in SHIB in the, in the bull market cycle. I didn't start accumulating until the bear market. And guess what? I am very happy with my position. I'm very happy with what SHIB is showing in the charts, the direction that is being you know, presented by the community. There are a lot of positive takeaways from what SHIB and is doing right now. And people can, again, do what they want. But me personally, I'm, I'm focused on the future. I'm focused on post having focused on alt season, mass adoption. The biggest times in crypto are in fact 
ahead of us. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.